Hi guys, today I will show you my top sex picks. Let's go. My cameraman asked, hey, what did you say? It was a joke guys. Today I will show you the top six of wireless mice. My own top six, not of someone else and not one I was paid for to tell you. It's basically a little bit mixed up of everything. Um, all symmetries, all brands, different sensors, everything. We're just getting started. Um, I think some of you will be very surprised now. Um, I were able to get this 2022 version of the Aerox by Steel Series, which um, made a little diet down to 65 grams. Got some new skates. Still has the 3389 Pixar sensor, which is modded or modified to be a wireless version. So they lowered the energy consumption, which also means the general behavior and um, possibilities and the scaling and DPI tracking, whatever, everything is a little bit lower or less energy consuming than on a wired version. But one thing I really enjoyed on the old version, which I made already reviewed to, was like the shape. The shape here in the back is very broad. It's more broad than on a Hati S, for example, and it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of has the same weight than like the shroud version, but in the end and in the front, it's even a little bit smaller than a Final Mouse Ultralight or Starlight. So the shape is unique, feels very good for claw gripping, for smaller hands, for palm gripping. Also, you can fingertip it and you still and always have a very good feeling because the big S gives you or the big S aspect gives you a very good feeling for your pinky and for your thumb to rest, which makes this mouse to available sixth place, to be honest. The pricing was very good when I was picking it up. It was like 75 euro or 74, which was like on the 23rd, 22nd. So around uh, Black Friday and stuff, a little bit uh, in before already. Uh, I was picking it up in German store on Case King. Right now the price is, um, 95.44 and this, this should be also the sweet spot for you to buy it. Um, I think there are also a lot of different um, resellers and sellers out there which still have a very low price but what I saw the white one is way more expensive so stick with the black one. One thing you may change later if you decide to buy this one just cause of the shape and of the functionality and the longevity of the battery and the yeah, still clicky feeling steel series clicks, you should think about replacing even the new glides at some point. Sure, they improved a lot over this black dots, which I have no clue why they ever made them. Maybe you replace them because the edges are very rough and you feel them on even on control and on hybrid pads, you feel them a lot, they are very scratchy. But at the end, I can tell you for below 95, 90 euro, this is a very good pick because just out of how wireless mice are available right now and which alternatives you have, this one is a very, very good alternative. Um, sure, it's may not performing on the same level as a Focus Plus sensor rod or Hero 25K sensor rod or very good implemented 3370 mice, but it's still a very valuable um, mouse with a unique shape, which with a very well-known shape and which is suitable for a lot of you guys, which is not very high, is symmetrical and enjoyable. So that's my play six and I think it's worth it to test and try it if you want. Don't buy the old version, only the, 22, uh, the 2022 version. So the second place goes out to the Razer Ohochi. Um, may you saw my video about this mouse, um, basically the sweet spot here is around 60 gram. Um, you can use it with normal batteries. Um, you can make mods. You can lower the weight. You can get it even down to 44 gram. Um, with normal modding, you can be around 55 gram with this mouse. Um, 
what is the special here or what makes it just different to all the other um, wireless mice. It has the X shape. It's the only one of the, of the mouse I will show you today with the X shape. Um, it's kind of small. It's very good for fingertip and claw grip framing. Um, if you want to pawn this, you should have very small hands. My hand size is 18.5 by 11, so 18.5 by 11. For me, very enjoyable to claw it, very, very easy to fingertip. It has a very good structure. The plastic is very good. There are a lot of grips out there you can buy for them. You can, it's a lot of replacement glides, a lot of mod videos, how you can get down the size. You can buy a lot of stuff like QI share, charging, battery replacements, whatever. Everything available for this one. You can mod it easily and the price is very enjoyable for $64.90. And this makes it to a perfect entry for wireless gaming. Here you have basically the same idea as on this true move sensor here over there on the um, Aerox Wireless 2022. It's also uh, like a gear downed 3389 sensor um, by Razer. It's the from the, the branch of the sensors they're using here for the cheaper wireless mice. The top dog, the next one would be the Focus Plus 10, which is basically a 3399. Um, just modified it to be wireless on the um, Death Adder Ultimate, for example. Um, yeah, basically this one here is very good. Sure, it has a, some DPI uh, deviation, but you just check it and then you adapt. Software is okay for this one. Razer software is kind of bully, but at the end, a very good mouse with a, a lot of options with non-optical clicks, with good Kale 60 mill clicks um very enjoyable my number five then we are coming to my um yeah the number four here some of you may surprise that this is already the number four when you know my older videos but um for now there are many reasons why this is the number four um at first it's the yeah it's not like sure at some point you can buy them and then you can don't can buy them for like one, two, three, four, five months and you're not sure when you can buy them, when you are able to buy them again. It's the Hati S Wireless Ace Edition. This one is the transparent blue wireless Ace Edition. It's not the December version, so the one they just shipped out a week ago and are sending right now. It's like one month old, two months old, this version. It's like uh, two months old. Uh, I think I made a video about this. Um, yeah, the video is one month old. So if you want to know more about it, just check my Happy Ace video about the mouse. Um, it's still a very good mouse. A lot of you guys know I played a lot with Hati S. Um, from, the, from the beginning on, even my first one had no sensor ring, still OM runs inside. They improved a lot. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, it's very enjoyable, very good to play. Um, some people right now from the December drop have problems with the wireless connectivity. Um, I think she was working on it right now, but for me it looks like could be various problems. Maybe some of the um, of the soldering was not very good, or some people look like they have battery problems. Um, but I'm not sure because I don't see it. I can't really review it, and I don't really know the uh, problems and how the problems behave. But I can tell you one thing. Um, about the glides, you maybe replace them with core pads because um, the stock glides sometimes are very good, but sometimes even on my copy they are not that good, to be honest. And um, yeah, that's one thing. And the other thing is um, like you or only can order it right now in Europe at um, Max Gaming, and the price is kind of high. I think the price is um, let me check it. The price right now for the transfer transparent blue. And for the white version is like 120 euro plus shipping so it's around 130 euro and that's kind of high to be honest it's 58 gram comes with k clicks clicks are good not my favorite clicks anymore but still good very competitive mouse a lot of high competitive players good aimers are using it so it's a very solid base if you like the form if you enjoy it buy it have fun with it if it's not working, just send it back to Mix Gaming, guys. Don't try to solve or fix some problems yourself. Just send it back. So the next one, what will it be? What do you think? Surprise, surprise. 
Um, it's the Pulsar one. It's basically the x -Lite wireless version, which comes at 58 gram, also with KL 8.0s, with 3370 sensor, like the Hati S. Um, very well implemented. Some people had a sensor motion delay. Um, I think um, latest firmware and software update um, have changed this already. Also, it could be possible that people are using the wrong USB ports or have USB power savings enabled and yeah, all the stuff. There's a lot of stuff to mention, um, to check. There could, can be a lot of problems solved by USB, to be honest, guys. Um, so keep this in mind. When you buy any of these wireless mouse, your USB port may is a problem source for wireless gaming. But at the end, I can tell you, this is a very solid one. It has reworked um, design of the glides. Pulsar is the first who's managed to bring out glass glides in stock. The glass glides for the wireless are coming very soon. They already uh, teasered them. They're already on the way of the release. Um, the mouse is very solid. It's bigger than the Hati, for example, if you compare at the same weight. Um, there's no creaking, nothing. The side buttons are a bit mushy. The rest is clicky. It's the only not symmetrical, so ergonomical mouse here. It has a very close to EC shape. It's basically fitting for M sized hands. It's very good, very enjoyable. Glide is very, very even, very comfortable. So the stock glides are very good made. They're good rounded. Thickness is okay. Um, for me, there was no point. Uh, I was not liking the mouse or something was like annoying me about this product. It's just only um, I'm not get used to it to claw this one. There was no way I uh, were enjoy or they were enjoyable claw type for me to play this or a fingertip version or fingertipping it. There was like no, no point I could do this, um, but it's a very good mouse for everyone. Price point right now. 48, uh, um, 85 euro in Europe, so pretty decent price, high quality, low weight, awesome product, nice sensor. Enjoy it, guys, if you see something ergonomical, this should be your go-to. Don't be afraid by the holes. These holes, for me, were providing more grip than normal plastic, to be honest, because they're like made like, they're just for the grip to, to have a grippy, and the PCB is like, coated so no problem with sweat or something else. The next one, what will it be? Surprise, surprise, it will be one of those twos. Here, to be honest, I would say mm, just by pricing, the, sh the shroud is the number two, but by how it performs, um, the, how the sensor implementation is, how the sensor feels at 1600 dpi, um, it should be number one, but the weight of 75 grams and 130 euro in price, um, just made it to number or to place two besides the shape. The shape is so-called diamond shape. It has a very wide, very broad spot like here. And this is one of the wireless mouse, or it's the, I think it's the, just the king of the claw wireless mouse. Um, I think Shroud is playing it or played it like this with like, the pink, the, the pinky like this, like, and that's why it has this rest here and, and the support on the side. For me, one another problem is also still that Logitech is still using fucking Omrons. <sighs> Click feeling is not the best, to be honest, but in general, the, the sensor implementation and how the sensor feels is just awesome. It's There's nothing you can compare to it. There's no wireless right now on the market, also not the final mouse which gives me or gave me this direct one-to-one -one sensor feeling. It was very responsive, very fast reacting, very secure, very detailed. It was like the way best sensor feeling ever, to be honest. And yeah, besides the weight, the price and the omruns, everything is okay here. Um, it's a secure pick, no holds for people who are have like M to L hands. It's a very secure claw grip mouse. Enjoy it guys, have fun with this one. Um, Shroud made it out of a reason cause it's a very good one. Very special, but very good. And now we come to my first place. Um, yes, it is the G Pro. Why? Cause of the usability of the all time. It's like there were only one or two months last year where it was not really available, but 
since some months you can buy it everywhere on any time you want and pricing right now is only 106.96 on german mine factory and it's just a safe go it has the hero 25k sensor which is very good sure the implementation is not as good as on the shroud version but it's still very good has very high fps rates the fps rates from from the sensor com um, in communication with the mcu unit are very good very variable that's why the feel the mouse feels always smooth on on um, speed increasing and decreasing um, movement it's always good the biggest problem for me here are for me are the stand standard skates, so the stock skates. I replaced it here with the Venser skates. You can check out my video, Venser versus uh, Tiger Eyes. These are the Venser skates. They are very, very decent, uh, very nice skates. Um, and one, the other thing is, as I mentioned already on the Shroud Edition, the Omrons. I can show you one thing now. That's the main click, and that's the side, the right one. I hope you hear it. The main, so the left one, is a little bit like it already feels like there's something loose or broken, and I don't even use it. It's all, only was for reviewing the stock, <laughs> the, the skate uh, change, and the right click feels very good, very very direct, and the main, the left one feels extremely shit to be honest. Um, yeah, I hope you get the version then with a good clicks. If not, just replace them with something good. K fours, eights. Who knows? Whatever you want, just do it. Uh, it's worth it, I think. Um, battery life is very solid. Um, and all, it's um, a very good mouse. But for me, it's like, or for most of the people, it's like, when you have it, the first day or the first time, you put it on the desk, you touch it, it's a go or it's a no-go. I think there's no point where you say, ah, I need a week, then it's okay. Guys, it will be not okay in a week, believe me. You touch it and you feel it and it's okay for you or it's not okay. If it's not okay, just set it back. Get some, get, get another shape. Because the shape is not very, how can I say, it's not very um, accentuated, I would say. It's like a standard shape, a shape which should be or, or a shape they want to fit for a lot of people to sell a lot of mouse. So it's a very um, utilized, non-unique shape. So to... Um, reach out to a very broad um, band of people, of buyers who want to play it, who can play it because the shape is not too special. And that's why the shape is also not too good for me, to me, to be honest, because it's not that special, not that pronounced, not that accentuated, ex uh, accentuated. So that's one thing which is missing here for me, to be honest. But in overall, the number one in pricing and the weight Normally it has 63 to 61 grams, best sensor, good battery life, easy software. That's it, guys. I will try to share you this one here. So you have the overview from left to right, from the sixth place to the first place. Uh, I will try to put it down in the comments or in the description. Um, then there's a point when people ask me, but wait, what, what are you playing? Basically, I play none of these. Um, normally, I play my Zaunkönig, um, which is still a wired mouse. I played in 2 or 4K Hertz mode um, on Apex and on Kovacs and other shooters. Um, and then on some yeah, easy days or relaxed days, I still play my super modded uh, Starlight. If it's, um, and I can tell you it's not worth to buy a Starlight, an old version for sure not, for 500 euros somewhere. And also, I don't think it will be worth to buy the new Phantom one or the Pegasus or the upcoming Poseidon one for another five, six, seven hundred at StockX or eBay or whatever. Just don't do it. It's not worth it, guys. Sure, it's unique. Sure, people will say, oh, yes, a final mouse. But that's all, guys. It will not make you better. The only reason I would say you buy this is because you are still using your Ultralight 2 Cape Town edition and you only can play this shape, then you should buy it or you, there is a way or there is, you can think about buying it. But for everyone else, just don't buy it. It's not worth it. Just buy something of these and have more fun and just wait for other shapes, more mice coming next year with better sensors, all the stuff. That's it guys so far. I hope you enjoyed this review. If there are any questions, just put it down in the comments below. 
Um, and as I said, that's my personal top six. So if you don't like it, it's okay. See you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.